<laughs> Doggy! <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You know, during the course of a year, a day, or whatever the case may be, when you're working with as many animals as we do, we see some pretty spectacular things. I'm just gonna very gently massage that out, kind of going around like this, and you can see it came right out, no problem whatsoever. It's eating itself. Oh, that is so bizarre. Oh, do you see that? Oh. oh my gosh. And I think some of those videos are some of the most awesome things that we do when just something really amazing is happening around that we can document. We just got a new bird eating tarantula just a couple days ago and it was in pre-molt, which basically just means it's gonna shed its exoskeleton. And guess what? Today I came in and it was on its back and it's starting to shed. So I am looking forward to share this entire process with you. It can literally take an hour or it could take 12 or 15 hours. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you know me, I'm gonna do my best to tough it out and show you the entire process. Let's take a little break from the tarantula molting and show you what I got here. I was actually pretty excited about this. You guys know that I launched merch over the last week or so, but I didn't have any samples, so now I get a chance to show you what we got so you guys can get yours quick. We only have about a week left, and these will be gone forever. Oh my God, I absolutely love them. Take a look at this. How freaking awesome is that? And let me see if I can just put this on. That's right, this is some RJ merch, my three-legged alligator. One arm, all the charm. I absolutely love this one. But you know what? This one actually is pretty cool. Do black. Let me check this one out. Woo! I absolutely love the black one as well. These guys are so cool. I've told you guys this before. It's my favorite merch so far, and it's only available for about a week. I am going to put a link in the description, brianbshop.com. Go over there, get yourself some. But maybe you're not a t-shirt person and you want a hoodie. But maybe blue is not your color and you want something, uh, you know, like, say... Let's say you want a black hoodie. I mean, I got you covered. So again, down in the description, go check out brianbshop.com. Get yourself some RJ merch for Christmas. Again, only about a week left. You guys gotta go check it out. Thank you so much for always showing me all your love. And I realize for some of you guys, spiders are like your worst nightmare and you're like, Brian, I tune in to watch about reptiles and other types of stuff. Why are you gonna do a thing all about spiders? But the fact is, is it's truly amazing. And for those of you guys that followed me for some time, I used to be terrified of spiders. And now look at, I've got Charlotte here. I've also got Zombie, the other rose hair tarantula that are absolutely incredible ambassadors. People come into the Reptarium every day that we're open and they hold a spider for the first time and they always have the same reaction like oh my god these aren't nearly as scary as I thought but just like snakes these guys actually shed or what they call molten tarantulas which is pretty amazing and again just like snakes they basically have an outer layer that needs to shed or in this case molt in order for them to grow it's actually called an ectoskeleton and believe it or not when they're ready to shed just like the big bird eater is right now they'll actually have this little membrane in between the inner layer and the ectoskeleton that's called an endo cuticle it's almost like a layer of saran wrap or something like that and what happens is it gets in there and then ultimately the ectoskeleton actually absorbs the endo cuticle so that it can actually kind of lubricate it then just like we're seeing it actually flips on its back typically they'll actually pump blood between the two layers in order to kind of break free what an amazing thing to see and in all the years I've been doing this I've seen a couple videos but this is the very first time that I've actually been able to witness it and on a bird eater nonetheless so it's been a pretty amazing experience but I'm gonna be honest with you I've already been watching for two hours it can sometimes take as little as 20 or 30 minutes and sometimes it can take an entire day so listen I'm committed to this I'm gonna to try to see it through guys and let's hope everything goes okay
can see now that it has all of its legs out. It's that last like big abdomen rump that it needs to push out, but it seems like it's exhausted. It can be an extremely strenuous thing for a tarantula to molt like this. And when they actually molt, they're extremely delicate. So if you're keeping tarantulas, not that I'm an expert at all, but I've done a ton of research on these things because I've been so interested in them and I can't wait to get the arachnid wall up here at the Reptarium. You don't want to touch the animal or even feed it for three to five days. And sometimes it can take even longer than that because when they shout, they're completely soft and even a cricket can actually kill a tarantula. It's amazing to see their fangs, which are typically black, actually go white and then eventually they turn red and then black again. Once they're black again, that means it might be able to feed, but you want to always really exercise caution. But my big girl right now seems to be just tuckered, so she's not moving very much. So I'm just going to give her a little bit of a break and we're going to check back on her in about an hour. I swear I'm the worst when this stuff is going on because I'm just always so worried. You know, no matter what goes on with my animals, I'm like, is it gonna be okay? I've never seen this before, so I'm like, oh, why is it stuck? Is it gonna be a problem? Because they can actually get stuck if they get interrupted too much, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, not trying to interrupt the process, but I can't help but kind of stressing out. What's interesting is say a tarantula loses a leg, after a molt they literally get the leg back. Now sometimes it's smaller and it has to grow to another molt, but that's just incredible. Just to kind of reset, now I've been at this for five hours watching it and uh, basically not doing hardly anything else today. I'm just watching it mesmerized. So five hours, but I think we're getting really close. Eric and Noah have been hanging out just kind of watching the tarantula trying to get it going. I mean, what do you guys think? It's very creepy. It's interesting. It's a, uh, it's so creepy crawly. I don't even know how to explain it. It is very interesting to think like that. There's a larger spider inside of itself, so it has yeah. to stretch out, and then th there's going to be a bigger animal after the fact. It's just really strange. It's just it's, it's really cool. It's fascinating. The fangs are cool too. Oh, how they crazy. went from like white to like kind of red now, and then they're going to obviously get the yeah they turn fur black. Right. Yeah, but uh, I see Eric uh, kind of squinting and making a lot of faces as it's been going on. Yeah, it's really creepy crawly because when it's moving, it just reminds me like Alien, the little creepy <laughs> yeah, legs moving, like and weird, yeah. it's just not natural. It's just, it's not, it's, well, I there's it some things natural. you should no, leave it, in it, the it, jungle. Okay. It is natural. <laughs> it's completely natural. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're still, we're still toughing it out, man. We're going to see this animal because what happens next is that it actually spins completely upright and actually walks away from its mold. Exactly. Nice. So the so gonna be sweet. It's gonna be awesome, man. I can't wait. It's worth it's worth all the time and energy that we're putting into this to see the end result. Like I mentioned, we've been trying to get like an arachnid wall going so that we can have some really cool animals. And of course, I wanted to add an emperor scorpion. Now you don't see very many emperor scorpions anymore because they stopped importing them. And a lot of the ones you see now are called Asian forest scorpions and they're much more aggressive. And the thing that's amazing about this little girl here is she's actually gravid or pregnant. So she's gonna have a whole bunch of little babies pretty soon. I mean, how freaking awesome is that gonna be? Oh my gosh it's such a cool little animal and again I can't wait to be able to show this off to people <laughs> I know it's crazy that I'm getting so excited about a bunch of bugs because I used to be terrified of them and now I think they're absolutely incredible taking a quick break from the tarantula guard to actually come and get some eggs you said we got yeah, some eggs from what are so these? I noticed a couple mounds in here and I can tell on this girl that she's got eggs in her oh, okay gotcha so she's probably got some eggs in here <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go take a look. Oh my gosh. And of course, these are Chinese cave geckos, right? Yes, yep. And on this side. Oh, there, oh there's, there's a pair. Oh my gosh, those are big eggs. I think they've been in here for a little bit. They're oh my a gosh. Plump. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's let's big. See. Any other ones? Oh, oh look, there's a there's couple, a couple more. more. Oh yeah, these are. These ones look a little, a little newer. Yeah, a little smaller. Oh my gosh, that is right. awesome. So this is like the new season. Yep. Oh my so, gosh. 
We're already two two months in, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Kind of some surprised eggs. We didn't expect to get eggs for another couple months or whatever. And uh, here we are, four babies. That means each female's already laid, right? Yep. Oh my God, that is awesome. Okay, back to tarantula watch. Guys, my new favorite tarantula is this one right here. This is actually a Brazilian black, and that thing is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, just take a look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, that's okay, little monkey. It's all right, I'm certainly no tarantula expert, I can tell you that much, but this thing is ridiculous, and I am in love with it. Oh my gosh, the first time I saw a picture of one, and they told me you could handle these, I was like, I have to find one. And apparently these have become pretty rare now, so it's really a treat to have a beautiful little tame one that we can take out and handle. Isn't that thing gorgeous? You know, the feeling is starting to kind of remind me of feeding a turkey to Lucy. It just seems like every time she moves, I'm like, yeah, she's going to crawl out. Then she hardly gets anywhere. And then as soon as she stops moving, there's like a 20 to 25 minute, just nothing, just staring at her for 20 or 25 minutes. So usually two, maybe three times an hour, it's trying to do something. I don't know how long this is going to take. Again, now I'm up to, I think, almost eight hours. Oh, okay, we're, we're trying to keep going. I hope this doesn't end like Lucy, where I finally at four in the morning have to walk away from it. Hopefully she'll crawl out soon. <laughs> Doggy, I tell you what, it may have taken 10 hours, but I absolutely am thrilled with being able to see the entire process of a Goliath bird eating tarantula molting. Again, I hadn't seen it. I've seen other tarantulas, but I've never seen a video of a Goliath bird eater molting. That's not to say they're there out there. I'm just saying I'm excited. It was amazing. That was absolutely incredible and so worth it. Yes, I didn't expect it to take 10 hours, but I hope that you guys and enjoyed it as much as I am. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow I'll show you it as it's kind of cleaned up a little bit, but that was absolutely spectacular. Let me know in the comments how you felt about it. And again, I'm sorry for those of you that are kind of freaked out by creepies or crawlies and stuff like that. I just thought this was so amazing. I wanted to share it with you. With that being said, since I spent so long, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Thank you as always for joining me. You guys mean the world to me and I truly love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button for the Goliath Bird Eater mold? Can you turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload a video? Make a comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and from me and the Goliath Bird Eater, I'll see you guys tomorrow.